Hello friends, welcome to Dashan Education. Now let's go into the video. In this video, let us explore about class on science, nutrition in plants. Part 1. Polyzoic nutrition, amoeba and different ways of taking in food. Before going into the video, let us have a quick recap what we learned in the previous lesson. All organisms, including human beings, require food for growth, repair, and functioning of the body. And the food we eat consists of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, rafters, and water. And these are known as nutrition, nutrients. And we even learn that plants are autotrophs and they follow autotrophic nutrition. That is, they can prepare their own food with the help of photosynthesis. And whereas animals are heterotrophs and follow heterotrophic nutrition, that is, that they can't prepare their own food and depend on other plants and animals directly or indirectly for food. And let us learn that uh, another topic. Some animals directly eat plants or plant products. These animals are called as herbivores. And whereas some animals do not feed on plants directly, rather they feed on animals. And those animals that feed on plants. And they are known as carnivores and omnivores. Omnivores are animals which eat both plants and animals. Example for herbivores are plants. Now, the animals which eat plants like deer and goat, sheep, cow, and many more. Uh, carnivores are, are like lion, tiger, uh, dog, and many more. And omnivores examples are bear, cow, and more, many more. And animal nutrition includes three aspects. They are nutrition requirement, mode of intake of food, utilization of the food in the body. And the solid food that we eat consists in soluble complex nutrition nutrients. Our body cannot use them in a such manner. So they have to be broken down into simple soluble form so that the body cells can absorb this. And this is the nutrition in which animals take in solid food through the mouth and convert it into simple soluble substance and, and then absorb it. And this type of nutrition is known as holozoic nutrition. And step, there are uh, five steps of holocene nutrition. They are injection, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and ejection. The first process is injection, and then digestion, then absorption, and then assimilation, and last, ejection. Let us learn about them in detail. Injection. Injection is the process of taking in food through mouth opening. Digestion is the process of breakdown of food that is complex insoluble organic compounds into soluble form with the help of digestive juices. And the digestive juices is made in the body. And then absorption. Absorption is the process by which food in the simple and soluble form passes into the body fluids and the body fluids examples are blood and acetylation is the process of using the absorbed nutrition by the body cells for producing energy and for growth of the body. And the last process, ejection, is the process of removal of undigested food or waste material or matter from the body. And let us learn about nutrition in amoeba. Amoeba is a microscopic and unicellular organism. And this amoeba is mostly found in fresh water like ponds and river. And the parts of the amoeba. 
this is the cell membrane and then nucleus this is nucleus contractive vacuole this is contractive vacuole and food vacuole and cytoplasm this is dotted structure everywhere and then pisipodia this is pisipodia this finger like structure let us learn about them in detail cell membrane is the surrounding of the amoeba and it is the, like the cell wall of the amoeba and nucleus amoeba consists of a round band structure and this structure is controls all the functions of the amoeba it is known as nucleus and food vacuoles is the food that is taken by the amoeba and this helps in digesting the food and contractile vacuole this helps to maintain water and solid balance in the amoeba and pisipodia is the finger like extension present in the amoeba and cytoplasm is the jelly like structure surrounding the nucleus and contractile vacuole food vacuoles and as they, as they do not have specialized organs for the process of nutrition, they, with the help of finger-like extensions called pisipodia, when prey such as other microscopic organisms come near an amoeba, the pisipodia um, extend out towards the prey, and the pisipodium, or singularly known as pisipodia, surrounds the prey to form a cavity and this cavity is known as food vacuole and digestive juices digestive juices act on the food to digest this food and the digested food is then absorbed and assimilated to the uh, to obtain energy and to perform metabolic functions and this undigested food is ejected and different Modes of nutrition or different ways of taking in food. Since different animals eat different types of food, they have different types of feeding organs and different modes of feeding. These are discussed as below. Let us learn first one bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. Bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds suck nectar from the food. That the food is the flower, the nectar of the flower. And butterfly have a coiled mouth part, and this is known as proboscis. And this proboscis unbend or straighten to form a straight tube, which helps them to absorb the suck the nectar. And hummingbird have wings that you they use this to suck the nectar. And even the mosquito for sucking blood from human beings and other animals have proboscis and then is hydra hydra is a simple multicellular organism which possesses a number of tentacles this is the tentacles many like this and these tentacles are around or surrounded surrounding the mouth the string cells that are present in the tentacles when a tentacel catch a prey, this stringing muscle, a stringing cells kill the actively moving prey. And then the food is pushed into the mouth through the tentacels. And inside the body cavity, the digestive juices secreted by the surrounding cells help to digest the food. Frog. Frog. It has a um tongue that tongue is full sticky and long sticky tongue to catch insects and frog possess a well developed digestive system to digest the food the food is the insects and this even this 
system, digestive system works with the help of digestive juices. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like and share. And do not forget to subscribe my channel.